Carnegie Mellon University is absolutely berserk. Trump turn period news. Vanguard of secret warriors, warriors for um, the Ark of Cuddle Worlds, which um, has a federal masquerade apparatus and um, the best foot forward stands of the UN. And UW Dialectical have for years proven themselves something like in Indiana Jones' Cavern of Doom, where no matter how many times you um, escape, there's always a wound up crossbow waiting in the foyers of the next room that you must somehow um, Houdini from. Going back in time a little bit to the days when cancel culture was a little simpler. All you had to do was uh, disregard David Bowie schmoozing with the unprincipled ally of Armageddon of the times, Ronald Reagan, and embrace his rhetoric about the heathen gargoyle dancer of consummation and the blood oath and death vow of the ever circling skeleton people. And you can see, you know, from the death of that poor woman in Iran and the pouncing on those who believe that the hijab is legitimate traditional fashion, but not an oppression of went not to be used for oppression of women who came out protecting um, the rights of women and were uh, indignant and outspoken against the death of this woman who martyred them, martyred them her, that the um, UW Dialectical Brigade has cranked up its crossbow to fire them automatically that um, this hypocrite, this hypocrite who has forever um, oppressed women, you know, and of course, if you actually you should be speaking out, it's, uh, it's a sacrilege against um, Pussy Riot, you know, or something, you know, the, the macabre skeleton people. But if you go back, you discover that the progenitor of amoral honor, Michael Foucault, was actually meeting with the Iranian extremists and brokering the 444 symbol for. Hitler, Reagan's fundamentalist tripartite system, just as surely as Gurbana for it, was wiring up Exocet missiles for the people who bombed our Marines in Lebanon to raise money for uh, hijackings in the Nic uh, Nicaraguan waters. And these were, this was the, the, the script that surfaced in the murder of Roberto Clemente went to Nicaragua to wax these people, but no, oh, dialectical has out harnessed us. It takes the Clemente's name and uses it for the red and the green as a symbol of what he believes and so on. I mean, it's Indiana Temple of Doom stuff. I don't know why Noam Chomsky hasn't spoken out against it. He seems to be one of the weirdos and behind it. So, you know, I mean, this wends its way. Oh, sorry for the pun. I didn't mean wends its way. I mean, it should have said zells its way through, you know, the fiasco of Seattle's Mount Poison and so on to the discovery of Bly Sanders. But, and with Spansky, you know, because it's a, a Mysterian call by the inner sanctum of the subconscious. Delton Doilies in Hollywood show business projecting into the psyche of the consumer. You know, we're supposed to um, browbeat our girlfriends about their sins and so forth. You know, poor homegirls who didn't know how to get a mask. You know, suffering as nurses in the emergency room to this that pitiless ordeal that, oh, yawn, let's just move on and forget. Yeah. But you could see the boiling, blood curdling boiling in the oil under the sea, the gas bubbles were rising. 
against them. Women who dare to consider it within their right to enjoy the statement of wearing a, a, a hijab. And, and, and then hypocrites, hypocrites for speaking out against the murder of a woman who offended the deities of Michael Foucault, I mean, the Iranian clergy, I mean, Colin Powell, I mean, uh, Gorbanifor, I mean, all of the North, I mean, who do I mean? David Bowie. Run for it, run for it. 